This story in which you're about to hear is PC privilege times probably almost a thousand because of the situation that took place and the lack of a consequence that occurred afterwards. So in this picture, you see someone by the name of Nathaniel Dorenzo right there in the first couple of pictures. You see how he looked on the day of the event in which occurred in which he in which a crime he committed. And then in the bottom in the middle picture is him in cuffs being taken somewhere but he's in cuffs and he's being hauled off somewhere but he is wearing a suit so it looks like he was in court but basically what happened was and this is coming out of new york this guy right here tried to strangle an 11 year old girl in a park and he got arraigned and he's out on bail you want to care to guess how much his bail was seventy five hundred dollars which means at 10%, he's only paying $750. Mind you, he tried to strangle an 11-year-old girl, and it was caught on video. Let's get into it. A 29-year-old accused of trying to strangle an 11-year-old girl in a Manhattan park was arraigned and released on a $7,500 bail on Saturday night. Nathaniel Dorenzo of St. Mark's Place was arrested on Saturday morning for a bizarre broad daylight attack on a young girl and another minor on Wednesday afternoon. Now listen to that. that. Multiple attacks, not just one, on two different days. On Saturday evening, he appeared for his initial hearing with his father donning a gray suit. He was charged with second degree strangulation, two counts of acting in a manner injurious to a child, second degree harassment, and two counts of assault. According to police, just around noon on October 20th, Dorenzo approached the girl and her classmates at Stuyvesant Square and began to yell at them before spraying water on the group and trying to attack them. When the young girl tried to fight back, cops say Dorenzo grabbed her by the hair and punched her in the face. He then allegedly wrapped his hands around the girl's neck, trying to strangle her. The girl was taken to Mount Sinai Beth Israel Hospital as a result of her injuries. One of the girl's classmates, a 15-year-old boy, tried to intervene once he saw the girl being attacked. Dorenzo allegedly hit the boy, who was treated for minor injuries on the scene by EMS. This guy's a straight-up coward because he's attacking children. He's attacking children that he knows he has an advantage over of. But what makes this story even more ridiculous is the fact that he got that low of a bail. First off, in my honest opinion, he should not have received a bail at all. If we want to be completely honest, that's just how I feel about it. But there goes that PC privilege yet again. And based on what on the locations of what he is from, it sounds like he's from some kind of high end area. I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. But this guy is a straight up menace who clearly does not need to be out in public. And the thing is, it looks like he targeted this girl. Like it would, it, it, this doesn't seem like such a random attack. It could be random either way, random or targeted. The guy should not be on the street. I would say, I hope that he gets everything that comes his way, but with a bail as low as that, I'm not going to hold my breath. But like, again, like, again, like I said, yet again, that's that PC privilege striking yet again. And I noticed that in his uh, appearance in his suit, they had him appear less threatening. Let me pause it right quick so I can show you. So here he is right here in that suit that they were talking about. And he looks less threatening. In the previous picture, he has shades on, his hair is down, scruffy face, wearing street clothes. And here he's wearing a what looks to be like a tailor-made suit with his hair in a uh, a bun. It looks like under the mask, he probably could have shaved his face. I can't really tell because he has a mask on and he's wearing glasses. So he they have to make him appear non-threatening. And from this angle, he almost looks like a woman, a very flat chested one. No one could probably tell either. A, what he did was very bitch made. So there you go. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments.